Hello and welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onendi Guzman. Our topic for today is dividing polynomials for grade 7, quarter 2. After going through this tutorial video, you are expected to divide polynomials. Specifically, you will state the steps in dividing polynomials like polynomial by monomial, polynomial by binomial, and number 2 is show the process of dividing polynomials like polynomial by monomial and polynomial by binomial. Before we move on to dividing polynomials, let us recall first the law of exponents, which is the quotient rule. In dividing the same base, subtract the exponents. So let's have example number one. Say, for instance, if I have x to the 7 divided by x to the 4th power, so what I'm going to do is, okay, since I have the same base, I'll subtract, okay, the exponents. So we have x raised to 7 minus 4. This will give me x to the 3rd power. Another example, if I have 15x to the 9 divided by 5x to the 4th power, so again, I'll divide first the numbers 15 by 5 so I have 3 then copy the same base of x and subtract the exponents 9 and 4 so I have 3x to the fifth power okay next example is negative 25x to the ninth power y to the fifth power divided by 5x to the seventh power y squared again I divide 25 or negative 25 divided by 5 so that will give me negative 5. Then, subtract the exponents of 9 and 7 and copy the base x as well as subtract the exponents of 5 and 2. So simplifying it further, I have negative 5x squared y to the third power. Since we review already, okay, the log exponent, especially the quotient rule, so we can proceed now to dividing polynomial by monomial. Say for instance, in example number 1, I have 12x cubed plus 6x squared divided by 2x. So what will I do is distribute. Okay, 2x, meaning to say I'll separate 12x cubed divided by 2x plus 6x squared divided by 2x. So applying the quotient rule, I have now 12 divided by 2 will give me 6. Then subtract the exponents of 3. Notice that here I have x. It means the exponent is 1. So we have the exponents 3 minus 1 as well as 6x squared divided by 2x. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then subtract the exponents 2 minus 1. So we have 6x squared plus 3x. Another example is negative 24x cubed y to the 7th power plus 12x squared y cubed divided by negative 3xy squared. Again, I'll distribute the denominator such that I have negative 24x cubed y to the 7th divided by negative 3xy squared. So plus, we have 12x squared y cubed divided by negative 3xy squared. So I'll separate, okay? So then we can divide using the quotient rule. So we have negative 24 divided by negative 3, so give me 8. Then subtract the exponents of 3 and 1 for x, and subtract the exponents, okay, 7 and 2 for y. Then let's proceed to, okay, positive 12 divided by negative 3, that will give us negative 4. Then subtract the exponents of 2 and 1 here, as well as, okay, the exponents of 3 and 2 for the variable y. Simplifying it further, we have 8x squared y to the fifth power minus 4xy. Notice that we don't need to write the exponents 1 and 1. So it means if it is invisible or if we don't have Okay, the exponent, it means the exponent is equal to 1. So let's move on to example number 3. 
So I have 18x cubed y to the 7th minus 12x squared y to the 5th power plus 9xy cubed divided by 3xy squared. So I'll divide each term by 3xy squared. So I'll res result to this okay, expression. So notice that I have 18 divided by 3. So it will result to 6. Then subtract x1 as 3 and 1 for the variable x. Then we have y to the 7th minus okay, 2. Then we have 12 divided by or negative 12 divided by 3. That will result to negative 4. Then again, subtract exponents x uh, raised to 2 minus 1. Then we have y to the p power minus 2. So we have here. Next one. So for the next term, we have 12. Okay, divided by 3 is equal to 4. Then subtract exponents of 2 minus 1 for the variable x. Then we have here y cubed minus 2 for the variable y. So simplifying it further, we have 6x squared y to the fifth power minus 4xy cubed plus 4xy. Let's have another example in dividing polynomial by monomial. So number 4 is 18x to the fifth power y to the 7th minus 12x cubed y to the fifth power plus 9x divided by 3xy cubed. So again, so we will distribute the denominator 3xy cubed to the terms in the numerator. So what we have is 18x cubed y to the 7th power divided by 3xy cubed. Then we have also 12x squared y to the fifth power divided by 3xy cubed plus the expression 9x divided by 3xy cubed. So again, we will apply the law of exponents such that 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. Then subtract the exponents of 3 and 1 for the variable x and subtract the exponents of 7 and 3 for the variable y. So next one is negative 12 divided by positive 3 will give us negative 4. Then we have x raised to 2 minus 1, y raised to 5 minus 3. While on, okay, the expression 9x divided by 3xy cubed, notice that 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Then I can factor out the variable x. Notice that we have, okay, the denominator y cubed because we cannot factor it out. Continuing Plus with our process, we have 6x squared y to the 4th power minus 4xy cubed. Notice that I just simply copy 3 all over y cubed because this is the simplest term of that expression. So therefore, this is the quotient in number 4. So let's move on to dividing polynomial by binomial. So say for instance, I have y squared minus 3y minus 10 divided by the expression y plus 2. So the first thing that I'll do is put, okay, my dividend y squared minus 3y, okay, minus 10 inside the division house. Then my divisor y plus 2 is outside, okay. So the first step is, okay, I'll consider, okay, my dividend if it is in descending order. By inspection, Okay, y squared minus 3y minus 10 is already in descending order. Next, I'll divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. Meaning to say that is y squared divided by y is equal to y. Okay, so that is y. So I'll put it, okay, above negative 3y because they have the same exponent. So the first step is divide. Next step is multiply, meaning say y times y plus 2. So this is the divisor. So the partial quotient y times the divisor. So it will result to y squared plus 2y. Okay? Then after that, I'll subtract. I rewrite, okay, the partial, okay, product here just below our dividend. Then subtract. Okay, so we'll subtract. So again, so y squared minus y squared is 0. Negative 3y minus 2y. 
Okay? That will result to negative pi y. So I will observe here. I'll write here negative pi y. Then I'll copy the next term, which is equal to negative 10. Then I'll repeat the process of divide, multiply, and subtract since I bring down or copy the next term. So again, I have negative 5y, the first term of the dividend, divided by the first term of the divisor. So I have negative 5y divided by y will give me negative 5. And I'll write it here. There. Okay, next. After that, I'll multiply the okay, negative 5 times the divisor. So I have distributed again. So negative 5 times y plus 2, so it will result to negative 5y. So negative, okay, 5 times 2 will give us negative 10. Then, again, the same process, I'll subtract. So negative 5y minus 5y, so that will result to 0. And negative 10 minus negative 10, so that is equal to 0. So therefore, the quotient of y squared minus 3y minus 10 divided by y plus 2 is equal to y minus 5. So let's have another example for dividing polynomial by binomial. So we have x squared plus 8x plus 10 divided by x minus 2. So again, I'll put my dividend x squared plus 8x plus 10 inside the division symbol. Then, my divisor is x minus 2. Again, so by inspection, x squared plus 8x plus 8 is already in descending order. Now, so the first step is to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So, that is x squared divided by x is equal to x. Then, I'll write just above 8x. Then, after that, I'll multiply x times x minus 2, so that will result to x squared minus 2x. Then subtract that to the expression x squared plus 8x. So we have, okay, so 8x, uh, x squared minus x squared is equal to 0, while 8x minus negative 2x, so that will result to positive 10x. Then copy 8. Or bring down 8. So we have 10x plus 8. So again, since I bring down or copy the next term, I'll move on or I'll simply repeat the steps, okay, 1 to 3 of divide, multiply, and subtract. So that is 10x divided by x. So we have 10. So right here, just above 8. Then 10 times x minus 2. So we have 10x Oh, 10 times x is 10x. We have 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. Okay? Then, I'll subtract. So, we have 10x minus 10x. So, that will result to 0. Well, 8 minus negative 20. So, that will result to 28. So, take note that 28 is our okay, remainder. So, therefore, the quotient of Oh, x squared plus 8x plus 10 divided by x minus 2 is equal to x plus 10 plus 28. This is my reminder. Okay, divided by x minus 2 as my divisor. So let's move on to our next example. So that is x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 2. So again, so we will make sure that our dividend is in descending order and we have our divisor as x plus 2 in the, uh, descending order also. The next step is we will divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. So that is x cubed divided by x is equal to x squared. So write it, okay, just above, okay, negative for x squared. Then after that, multiply x squared by x plus 2. So we come up with, okay, x squared times x is equal to x squared, while x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Then write, okay, the product just below x cubed minus 4x squared. Then subtract. So subtract, so we have x cubed minus 4x squared minus 
x cubed plus 2x squared. So we'll come up with, okay, take note that we can factor out x cubed and x cubed. However, negative 4x squared minus positive uh, 2x squared, it will result to, okay, negative 6x squared. And copy the next term, which is positive 2x. Then, we will repeat the, pro the process of divide, multiply, and subtract. So, that is negative 6x squared divided by x. So, this will result to negative 6x. Then again, multiply negative 6x to our divisor. So, we have negative 6x times x. So, it will result to negative 6x squared. Then, we have negative 6x times positive 2, so that is negative 12x. Then we will subtract that, guys, here to negative 6x x squared plus 2x. So take note that negative 6x squared minus negative 6x squared is equal to 0. However, 2 minus, uh, I mean, positive 2x minus negative 12x, that will result to positive 14x. Okay? Then copy the next term of negative 3. So again, we will re repeat the process of divide, multiply, and subtract. So that is 14x divided by x that will result to 14. Just write, or, okay, positive 14, just above negative 3. Then multiply 14 to x plus 2. Uh, okay, so we will have 14 times x is 14x, and 14 times 2 is equal to 28. Subtract the result to 14x minus 3. So we have 14x minus 14x, so that is equal to 0. However, negative 3 minus positive 28, so that will result to negative 31. So we will write negative 31 here. So therefore, the quotient is x squared minus 6x plus 14, okay, minus our remainder 31 all over x plus 2. So again, that ends our discussion on dividing polynomials. We discuss dividing monomial by monomial, polynomial by monomial, as well as polynomial by binomial. Again, so this is Teacher Onendi Guzman. So thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Goodbye.